it is your girl, Sonetta Joy, and I am here with none other than the man, the legend, singer, songwriter, producer extraordinaire, Mr. B.B. Winans. How are you doing today? I'm excited. I'm good. I'm good. It's been an uh, incredible journey, and so we sit here in a theater that is launching a nine-year journey of, of, that I've taken in this musical, Born for This. Now, what made you decide to write your story? Well, I tell you, it was a phone call from a dear friend, and after having uh, probably two minutes into the phone conversation, she simply turned a corner and said, when are you writing that musical about your family? It's a musical. It's a movie. It's, it's a, and I kind of looked at the phone saying, where did this come from? You know, but the, uh, the fact that after the phone call, I went out of town and I opened up my, my laptop when I walked into the hotel and like a faucet came on and uh, I wrote the first, first draft. You know, God uses people sometimes to push us to do things. He really does. He really does. And I know that was a moment that God used this woman to speak into my life. And here we are. Wow. Is that how it works when you're writing songs, too, for the musical? Or otherwise, you just get like an inspiration. The lyrics come first, the melody. The sometimes. Sometimes the lyric comes first, sometimes the melody. But my whole career in the songs that I've written has been inspired by life whether that is in the church, at the church, through a message, um, through relationships and friendships, you know, things that has, has happened to me in life, um, I've been inspired to put it down on pen and paper and, and, and then record it. So this is, this is a little different. Okay. Um, you know, you walk through life uh, just like anyone with your ups and downs and what tomorrow holds, you never know, but you never know while you're going through that, that this could be a musical. <laughs> I mean, this is amazing to me because I'm thinking back, you know, uh, most people think you and CC just, you know, put yourselves together as a duo, you know, but they don't know that you started at PTL with Jim and Tammy Baker. I mean, tell us how that came about. Exactly. You know, uh, the story really tells it, but a friend of ours named Howard McQuarrie became the musical director, and then we had a relationship with him, and he called and said, look, we're having an audition. We'd love for you guys to come and audition and even though that happened we knew daddy wasn't gonna let this happen you know because he didn't let us go across the street and spend the night less long Pop yeah. <laughs> let us go into uh, uh to another state and to live but god had a plan and he used jim and tammy faye baker for that plan but, so this is full circle this is just so wonderful that you're doing this I mean, what do you want the people in the audience that's going to come see the play, what do you want them to take away from it? Oh, that is so simple. And so um, I'm excited about uh, for everyone who comes to the theater and have that experience. I want them to simply walk away understanding that they are not a mistake, but they were born with a purpose. And God has a plan for their life and their destiny, you know, uh, just like mine. And so I want everyone to leave out with that message. And I heard something uh, that you have a song in there or something, there's a message about not giving up. In the, in the, in the, because a lot of people need to hear that now. So much, so much is going on in the world and people just want to give up. And you have something that addresses that. Simply says, I won't stop. I can't stop. I won't quit because I can't quit. When God puts something inside of you, no matter how much time passes and no matter what you're going through, that's going to come to pass. And so uh, it's a great song. It actually ends the first um, act of the, the musical. But I, I want everyone to realize this wasn't easy. My life has been, you know, hard in, in a lot of ways. But yet and still, I, through it all, your faith in God really becomes strong. And so I wouldn't trade any of it. I mean, your life is incredible, B.B. I mean, you have so many celebrity friends. Everybody knows you. You know everybody. I mean, you are the go-to guy that Oprah calls when she wants a musical director for her Legends Ball and her own series and everything. Yes, but you know what? What's so important about that, and relationships are important. They've played a very important part in my life, throughout my life. And that's exactly what it, you know, relationship with God is so important. That's the most important relationship. And because of him, I say it all the time, you know, man can make a way out of a way. But God makes a way out of no way, 
you know. So, you know, it that relationship I treasure the most. Wow. And then everything else follows. Yeah. You know, when I interviewed your sister Cece, and I had a piece of memorabilia that she got a kick out of seeing, and I think you would too. And so I want to share it with you okay. and see. I'm a real fan, okay? See, see. That, that, that you will see from the stage. That you will see from the stage. It's amazing. This what do you think when you see that? Well, I, 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 you know, for the last nine years, I've been writing about this. And so this is just. You know, when I look at this, I see what God has done through the talent that he placed inside me and my sister. And so there is something God has placed in everybody, you know, and it doesn't it doesn't make a difference how long it takes. You know, he's still in control. That's right. <laughs> he's in control. Funny. <laughs> what were you thinking that day, right? <laughs> oh, I thought this was the greatest album cover in the world. Right. And then my brother said. That's ugly. <laughs> was it Marvin? Was it Marvin? <laughs> Marvin and Randall. Oh, but I tell you, this is a lovely Look at thing. you now. You've just been honored being my trailblazers. You've just been honored. Look at what you didn't even know you were blazing trails. I mean, we were so excited to grow up watching because y'all were the first gospel artists to cross over into the mainstream. You know, Arsenio, Oprah hanging out with Whitney, you know, being friends with Whitney. Whitney Houston sung back up for you guys. Okay, who... who who does that happen to? You know what I'm saying? You know, God, has so. been, God has been faithful, but I'm excited to invite everybody to come see the musical and, and be inspired by it. All right. So those are your final words. What advice would you give to someone who is aspiring also to be in this business and also to have longevity like you have? Well, simple to, uh, to, to know for themselves that God has called them. That's the most important thing. You have to know who you are. My father taught taught us to know who we were and to be confident in what God has placed in your life. And that's all you need, no matter what other people say. If you believe that, you will achieve. Well, BB, that says it all. And guys, you got to come out. You know, you know his work. You know him. It's nothing but the best, nothing but quality. His niece and nephew are actually playing him and uh, Cece in the play, so in the musical. So you guys are going to have a great time. Come out and see Born for This, and you will not regret it. Get all BB stuff. You know, I have all the albums, all the tours. I hope there'll be more music. Oh, new music? Okay. Yes, a lot of new music, so come on out. Okay, new music, and more new music and tours, too. On Besides, the two. Uh, uh, be, uh, you can't leave us hanging. This is all I'm thinking about right now. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. So thank you for stopping by to talk to us today. And we look for more and more great things from you because that's all you give us. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. God bless. God bless you guys. Stay tuned. Like I said, go support BB, all his projects. And you guys stay tuned with me with all the exclusives. Senator Joy. How are you doing tonight? I'm good. Very good. It's a great night. Mm -hmm. We're big fans of you and your family. We love Thank you guys for the Thank years. you so much. And what does it mean to be here tonight to see your family story played out like this? Well, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see his rendition of, you know, what he felt about it. BB's story, about? yes. We'll beat him up after if it wasn't right. But, uh, yes, it's, we're excited because BB has always been, I mean, he's such a family guy. He's uh, a great guy, so he knows us through and through. So we hope he only tell what needs to be told, okay. nothing more. But I think it's going to be great, and uh, we can't wait to see it. We're gonna, not going to hold you up. We're going to let you get in and get really? excited and everything, but you're beautiful. Thank, thank you thank very you much. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. And we keep wanting to hear great music from you. You got more music on? It's coming. Okay. It's coming. It's coming. Isn't it? It's coming. It's coming. Okay, right. okay. And you know, your song, you and your sister, your song is the theme to my show. Brand New Dance. Oh, it's awesome. my favorite. Now that's an awesome show. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. We Thank love you. it. So Thank keep you. up the great work. Thank you. And enjoy Thank yourself tonight. I will. We're going to have fun. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you guys. Okay. You guys be blessed. All right. I'm great. Great. You're looking beautiful. And Thank this is you. your lovely daughter. My daughter, Jean. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. You guys are twins tonight, huh? Yes, we're hanging out. Are you excited? How are you feeling tonight? Very excited. I can't wait to see it. Mm -hmm. The story of B.B. Winans. Mm -hmm. Only lived with him all my life. So you don't <laughs> know I'm what you're excited. I don't know what I'm going to see. Okay, okay. This is great. This is great. So he's going to surprise all of you guys. Yes, yes. We're going to be laughing. I know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I know it's funny. 
<laughs> Can't wait to see it, though. We love Excited. you guys, and we thank you for stopping by to say hello. Thank you. And we want you to enjoy yourselves tonight and keep making all that great music. Okay, thank you. All right. All right. Okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> Here with you, and we're so happy that you're here doing the music. What are you looking for tonight? Are you excited to finally be here for opening night? Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really, really, really just um, without words that Jim Baker is here because I, I worked at PTO, and um, it's just so good to see him. He had such a good heart, and it's good to see him. It's, it, I can't tell you how moved I am to see him. That's probably the biggest thrill of the night. But I, I'm also with everybody getting to see the show. BB's work is amazing, and I'm so happy for him that he's been able to bring this full circle and put this on stage. So it was an honor to work with it. And I'm happy for you because you, I mean, you are just awesome at your craft. Thank I you. Mean, I appreciate that. I, I enjoy, I really enjoy working in the background. So I enjoy yeah, okay. getting, getting into a project for somebody and just really being the support and really making it show up. So when I see it on stage, I'm so happy that I was able to come and just, you know, really add my gifts to really make his dream come forward. So it's been great beautiful. gifts you do have. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. We thank you. <laughs> so much for stopping by. All right, thank you. Enjoy yourself tonight. All right, you as well. BB and Cece came walking down the stairway on either side of that great old show that we had. Is that any same summertime? I can't say. I was ever going to do that. And I love you. And I'm so proud of you. I was so proud to be with you on the Walk of Fame there in Hollywood, where they gave them the star, the honor. The world has honored you, but the church honors you tonight. Yeah. Thank you for the great music you love.